Beneath the bright glamour and grit of Hollywood lies a journey waiting to be uncovered. A place where the air thickens with whispers of the unknown and where secrets lurking in the darkness. In today's story, we're diving deep into the heart of a famous Hollywood legend, the tale of James Dean's famous cursed car. But this is more than just a vehicle. It's a world of bizarre and mysterious dark stories, clinging desperately to every curve of its metal body. Here, the engine's hum doesn't just roar. It whispers old forgotten stories, making every heartbeat race just a little faster. Mysterious things are thought to haunt its past, telling stories of heartbreak and disaster. Now, as we start to delve deeper, the air thickens with mystery, and the legend starts to grow more haunting. Welcome to the world of Jimmy's randomness, a place where the secrets of James Dean's Porsche await, hiding in the shadows. Born in 1931 in Marion, Indiana, the man rose to fame in the 1950s and remains an influential figure even today. From humble beginnings, this talented actor excelled both academically and athletically in school. He was a star on the baseball and basketball teams and had a real passion for drama. After graduating from high school, Dean pursued his acting dreams at UCLA, where he initially started as a pre-law major but quickly switched to drama. It was here, during his college years, that he discovered his love for acting, thanks to a role in the play Macbeth. He also started polishing his acting skills at James Whitmore's workshop where he got tons of experience and guidance from an old seasoned mentor. Unfortunately, Dean's dad wasn't thrilled about his acting passion, which put a strain on their relationship. But our determined hero didn't let that stop him. In January 1951, he made the bold move to drop out of UCLA and went to Proco at a full-time acting career, much to his family's dismay. And so, the man's journey began. Dean put in the hard work, starting with a Pepsi commercial and landing small walk-on roles in various movies. While he was struggling to make ends meet, he even worked as a parking lot attendant at CBS Studios. It was there that he met Rogers Brackett, a radio director and agent who recognized Dean's potential and offered him professional advice and guidance. Brackett was a game changer for his career, helping him score a starring role in the Broadway play, See the Jaguar. Now, this opened the door to many more opportunities, from walk-on roles and TV appearances. The guy finally made it big in 1953 with the movie East of Eden, where his acting skills and improvisation really shone in this film, launching him into the spotlight. Shortly after, he stunned audiences with his unforgettable performances in Rebel Without a Cause and Giant. He gained recognition as a respected actor and captured the hearts of thousands of fans. In 1954, after wrapping up filming for East of Eden, the man started developing a passion for auto racing. He bought several vehicles for his new hobby including a Triumph Tiger T-110 and a Porsche 356. His racing career took off as he competed in professional events and showcased his skills. The man even had dreams of racing in the prestigious Indianapolis 500, but unfortunately, his busy filming schedule prevented him from doing so. Then, on September 23, 1955, Dean purchased a brand new 1955 Porsche 550 Spider. Now completely excited about his new wheels, he took it to the renowned car customizer George Barris to give it a personal touch. The car was adorned with tartan seats, the number 130 on the hood, 
and the name Little Bastard painted on the back just below the Porsche emblem. It was here where things started to happen, and as soon as our young celebrity started driving it, the strange and bizarre omens began to appear. Later on that same very day, he met up with British actor Alec Guinness to show off his new toy. But Alec had a strange and dark reaction to the car, describing it as something sinister. In fact, he even warned Dean that if he got in that car, he would be found dead in it within a short span of time. Some might dismiss this as mere superstition or coincidence, but little did they know that Alec's words would foreshadow a tragic fate that awaited the poor soul. Then on September 30th, 1955, just a week after acquiring the Porsche, the man planned to participate in a race at Salinas, California, accompanied by his mechanic, Rolf Wutherick. They embarked on a journey that would forever seal their fate. As they traveled along Route 466, a Ford Tudor driven by Donald Turnipseed suddenly veered right, cutting into Dean's path. The collision was catastrophic, leaving both vehicles severely damaged. Tragically, Dean was pronounced dead on arrival at the hospital, succumbing to his injuries. His untimely demise shocked the world, and the news spread like wildfire. Little did anyone know that this was just the beginning of the cursed car's dark legacy. Following Dean's death, the wreckage of the Porsche was sold off, and its parts found their way into various vehicles. But as fate would have it, misfortune seemed to follow those who possessed the remnants of the ill-fated car. It was as if the car carried a malevolent presence, leaving a trail of tragedy in its wake. In 1955, a truck driver's death occurred during the transportation of Dean's beloved Porsche. George Barcuis, the flatbed driver, was hauling the wreckage of the car on a truck when it crashed. The fatal collision caused him to be flung out of the truck and the sports car landed right on him, killing him instantly. The curse seemed to be taking its toll on anyone who dared to possess a piece of James Dean's ill-fated car. Fast forward to 1956, when the first sign of the curse struck. A doctor purchased the engine of Dean's Porsche and installed it in his own racing car. However, during a race, the vehicle spun out of control, causing a horrific crash that claimed the doctor's life. Coincidence, maybe, but the pattern was hard to ignore. As the years went on, the cursed car continued to change hands, leaving a trail of tragedy and misfortune in its wake. In 1960, a car customizer named William Eshrid bought the car and was injured in a crash while driving it. Though he survived, he was plagued by health problems and bad luck after the accident. In 1962, the car was displayed in Sacramento, but fell off its mounts and broke a teenager's hip as he was posing with it. The boy's mother then sued the exhibitor, causing further misfortune. Despite multiple efforts to dismantle and disperse its parts, the curse persisted, affecting the lives of those who came into contact with it. And so, to try to end the curse, the remains of the car were later displayed as a warning to the public, serving as a cautionary tale of the dangers involved. However, tragedy struck once again when the exhibit mysteriously caught fire. The car was reduced to ashes, but the curse was far from extinguished. Over the years, stories circulated about individuals who had come into contact with the car's parts and experienced unexplained misfortune. From accidents and injuries to financial ruin, 
and even strange occurrences like objects moving on their own. The curse seemed to haunt those who had any connection to the famous actor's car. To this day, the legend lives on, captivating the imaginations of those fascinated by the paranormal. Whether you believe in curses or dismiss them as mere coincidence, there's no denying the eerie chain of strange events surrounding this haunting story. The story of this cursed car serves as a dark reminder that sometimes even objects can carry a presence, forever connected with the poor souls who once inhabited them. So, my friends, the next time you encounter a relic with a bizarre past, think twice before delving into its mysteries, for who knows what malevolent forces may be lurking within, ready to unleash their wrath upon those who dare to take a closer look. And that's a wrap for this story. Maybe you've got your own eerie stories to share, things that go bump in the night. If you've got a chilling tale just itching to be told, please share it. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching.